we the jury find the defendant guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Justice for Karina Vetrano, a guilty verdict in her murder case providing a bittersweet end to a long and arduous journey for her parents. Grieving can begin for us. Now my baby has justice. Karina was young, beautiful, vibrant. Her life cut tragically short while she was out for a run in August 2016. Why did you kill her? 22-year-old Channel Lewis, arrested and accused of killing Karina, but his first trial ending in a hung jury. So a jury deadlocked in the case against Channel Lewis. Months later, Karina's parents hoping for a second chance to prove Lewis was in fact guilty to a new jury. But even the days before the second verdict, Lewis's fate remained uncertain. Cases generally don't get better with time. Questions swirled around the validity of DNA evidence. You won't see channels blood or body fluid, shoe prints or hair at the crime scene. Or whether his confession was coerced. A last minute anonymous letter was even submitted to the defense questioning the NYPD's investigation. But within hours, the jury was convinced Lewis found guilty. There was no doubt in my mind if the letter is confirmed to be authentic and if the facts within the letter are found to be authentic, there are grounds for an appeal. An appeal Lewis's mother, Vita, told ABC News in an exclusive interview is coming. Her son, she says, is innocent, wrongfully arrested and framed for the murder. My son is not a murderer. My son would never kill this young lady. The New York Police Department said they were confident that Chanel committed the crime. What are your thoughts about that? They believe that my son is helpless. They were looking for somebody definitely to place this trials on. That's the reason why they chose him to do, the, to do it. You are watching Karina's final moments, captured on a surveillance video, out on an afternoon run, alone. You have a 30-year-old woman, Karina Vitrano, doing what women do all over the country, which is just exercise. She went through this park, but never came home. Later that night, her father says he went out in the dark with police officers along this unlit jogging path looking for. He found Karina's body just off the path. Myself and my family owe everything to the NYPD. And six months later, after no leads and no suspects, police would home in on Channel Lewis as their primary suspect. We found the, uh, the person and we sent detectives over to his house. He freely gave DNA. But Lewis's mother, accompanied by her reverend Kevin McCall and community activist Christopher Banks, says the NYPD were pressured to bring someone in and targeted Channel. That is a serious charge that law enforcement, right? We want to believe that these are good and decent, honorable men and women who did the best they could and their evidence led them to your son. It's not a far stretch. Uh, that 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 this was a all, all of this evidence was planted. Chanel was a perfect, perfect, perfect fit for this. He's not a monster. He's a God-fearing, loving, kind person. I understand her not believing her son did this. I get that. But nonetheless, there's so much compelling evidence in this case. She should have come to realize this is what happened. Chief Robert Boyce, who is now an ABC News consultant, was chief of detectives at the NYPD at the time of Karina's murder. What what was his motive? He didn't know her, they had never interacted before. Chance meeting, there's no way these two people would ever meet in life, and yet he saw her and was angry and then attacked her when he saw her. And that's what prosecutors presented at the first trial. How did you finish your off? Like, you know, all the and then got madder and madder and then was strangled. In the retrial, the defense and prosecution would spar over key pieces of evidence. Among them, Lewis's taped confession, which his defense says was coerced as part of a near 12-hour affair, with a six-hour gap of Lewis not appearing on camera. People has to be in that courtroom to see that video. The officer, that's what he was doing, coercing my child, telling him what to say. You have a right to remain silent. But Boyce says the video reflects how police interrogations should be conducted. You gotta be honest. Is there any chance that one of your detectives could have fed him the information to have misled him? That's why we tape our interviews. We do that for a reason. So people will believe in us because we need public trust in the police department. The prosecutors also zeroed in further on Lewis's DNA, key evidence cited in the trial, which Boyce says was found not only underneath Petrano's fingernails, but also on her cell phone, on her neck. The defense argued it was circumstantial. So you're telling me that a woman who's out jogging of all the people in the universe, she could have bumped in Chanel while jogging? 
Absolutely, it can happen. And DNA experts said it can happen. His supporters now go even further. The DNA, well, we believe it was planted. However, experts say that planting DNA is almost impossible. Altering the evidence that's, you know, being held either by the medical examiner or NYPD or a lab. The odds of that occurring, in my view, are beyond remote. So now why'd you do it? And there's still the question of how Lewis became a suspect in the first place. Police say that a lieutenant recalled seeing a man near the crime scene three months before the attack. So he saw this man, he saw him act suspiciously. His suspicions recorded in a 911 call played back in court. There's a suspicious person just walking back and forth around the block. Yeah, he's looking in yards around different blocks just by himself. Lewis's family says that memory was too much of a coincidence and simply provided the perfect fall guy. There's pressure on the police department to find the person who did it. So what better person for them to be able to look for is an African-American black boy who's helpless. It absolutely sounds reasonable that a patrol officer, a lieutenant, etc., would remember. You have to remember what the police do every day. The final piece the Lewis family points to came in the form of an anonymous letter that was submitted to the defense in the final days of the trial, claiming there was indeed police misconduct. The letter claimed to be from a New York City police officer saying that during the first few days of the investigation, the suspects were two, quote, jacked up white guys from Howard Beach. But then they found traces of DNA at the crime scene indicating a male black, causing the investigation to become racialized. So is there any merit at all to this letter, you think? No, I think it's a really unethical attempt to this, this, real, um, this investigation, this trial. My fear is always in this case, it would come down to a racial uh, issue. Based on the letter, the defense sought to exclude Lewis's tape confession and filed a motion for a mistrial, which the judge denied. My son would never assault this young lady. He has sister, he has nieces. In a statement, the NYPD said that they painstakingly investigated the murder of Karina Vetrano. And as the Queens District Attorney's prosecution demonstrates, the evidence clearly shows that Channel Lewis is responsible for her death. Although facing an uphill battle, his mother vows to continue to fight for what she believes to be her son's innocence. Have you ever spoken to the Petrano family? Wow, no, I did not. But when, when it first happened, I give my condolences to the family because I'm a mother also. Yes, ma'am. And I know, I feel, I feel their pain. If you could speak to them, what would you say to them? I would be very sympathetic. I sorry for their loss, but I will definitely let them know that my son is not the killer. Channel Lewis will be sentenced a week from today. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.